Hey everybody. Hey Jim. Well, I am driving the X5 today because it's all fixed. No warning lights at all. And that has emboldened me to attempt. <laughs> wow. Gotta love a V8. And that's made it so now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to fix that crazy Z4 again. This would be, what, the, I don't know, 3,000th time I've tried to fix the stupid Z4's smog issue. Fixed a few problems. I've had help. I've had help. I had a professional that fixed the O-rig and the gas tank. But now it still says there's a leak. I fixed, I replaced a DMPL pump. So this episode, I'm going to make a smoke machine where I can pump smoke into the evaporative system. And finally, hopefully, hopefully, everything is prefaced with hopefully around here. Finally, be able to find the damn leak. It's been driving me crazy! I'm gonna find that leak. And I'm gonna make this smoke machine kind of like the ones that I've seen people build on all these uh, other YouTube channels. We got our stuff! We got our stuff! Let's see. Soldering iron! Smoke machine parts! Now I gotta go home and make it. Cool. You know... Uh, now that the wheels and tires have been rebalanced, this thing is smooth as silk again. Smooth as silk. Apparently, when you have big, gnarly mud tires, after you drive them about six or eight thousand miles, you need to rebalance them, or else they start going wop, 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 and then the steering wheel starts going big, 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 and that's not good for your steering components and all your joints and all of that stuff. I didn't say that. Okay, well, we've got all of our goodies here. This is the pile of stuff we're going to use to make the smoke machine. So I'm going to start with this mason jar. Uh, I've got a nice little tin lid. And the idea behind this whole thing, from what I've seen, <clears throat> is you need to take some sort of a wicking material and put it in the jar, which I'm going to use this cotton shop cloth material. That's what I'm going to try here. And then you're supposed to put uh, mineral oil, which I went to the store and I got this baby oil, which is essentially mineral oil with a little fragrance. And this bottle of baby oil was less expensive by a couple bucks than a slightly smaller size bottle of mineral oil. So I figure I'll put up with the fragrance. Maybe it'll help. And so then we were going to end up putting baby oil in the jar, which will totally saturate this cloth, which will pretty much fill up the jar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to punch a hole in here where we can insert this soldering iron down into the jar where this heating element will be into this and cause the oil that's on it to smoke. And then we're going to add another fitting here. I just found some junk in my junk drawer. Looks like this has been exposed to some smoke before somewhere along the way. But I'm thinking I can sandwich this into the metal lid and I'll probably make use of this washer to make that happen. And then I'll be able to attach uh, a hose onto this. This will be our exhaust side. 
and then I'll punch another hole over here and fit this little guy in it sticking up and then I'll be able to fit the end of this bicycle pump hose on this blue guy and then I can pump a little bit of air in at a time once the jar fills with smoke and it'll pump air out of the hose that's attached to here into whatever area of the vehicle I need to test for air tightness. <laughs> um, I think that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to make it now. I've removed the little lock screw out of the side of the soldering iron uh, and pulled out this tip, but I took off the screw so this will slide through the hole nice and easy. I'm using a step drill because it tends to cut holes a little cleaner in the thin sheet metal. This is not quite big enough, so I'm going to go a couple more steps. Well, we've got the hole cut, and if you can see, it fits just right. So that'll be pretty easy to seal with epoxy there. Okay, so let's now cut our other two holes. Well, I think it's about time for me to mix up my quick set epoxy because I've got all of my holes cut. I have my soldering iron through the hole. I've got the screw and the tip back in place. I've got my exhaust chimney in place. I didn't use the washer. It wouldn't have fit with clearance for the jar. And then let's see. Yeah. Looks like it's going to work pretty good once I get the whole shebang on. And then I've still got to put this guy in from underneath and I'll do that once I have the epoxy ready. Well here it is all put together all glued up and it's just sitting here waiting to dry. Of course I don't have the, uh, the little lock ring around here yet um, but it's curing the epoxy is curing but I think this all looks good so I will hook up my bicycle pump to this little blue guy it's the right size for the little clamp thing to just clip right on there just like the fill valve of a, an inner tube or a tire and then I've got some hose already some vinyl hose that'll fit on this outlet and then this should fit in there and should make some smoke as soon as it cures we're going to plug it in and try it out i have put two of the shop cloths in there and now i'm going to saturate them with this baby oil Well, now I've made sure that the cloth is completely saturated in baby oil. I've got it screwed down. Everything seems to be okay here. There's, yeah, there's still probably about three quarters of an inch of oil. Maybe, oh, it's even deeper. Maybe a little more than that. But a lot of oil down there to make sure that the cloth stays completely saturated. And that way it won't accidentally catch on fire. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, uh, gosh, I think I should hook up the hoses and plug it in. Well, we're starting to get some smoke in there. And what's interesting is you can see the smoke starting right there. And it's supposed to come out the end of this hose here because I have it hooked up. But when I pump it with the bicycle pump, I don't know if you can see, but the smoke the smoke is coming out where the wire goes into the the, the soldering iron isn't airtight. I used some goop and sealed it up. So it's not leaking out of the top anymore. 
we're getting quite a bit of good smoke going in there and let's see how it works with any luck at all we'll get smoke yay look at that okay so now I can put smoke into my systems at a very low pressure and then I should be able to see wherever it's leaking out. Hmm. This smoke doesn't smell very good. <laughs> okay, so that is how you make a smoke machine. And I'll have to get back to you and let you know if it actually works and solves. Well, we know it works, but if it actually solves my problem, will I be able to find the leak because of this? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.